The first step in analysing any circuit is to come up with a model. The same as the first step for any other part of physics. Why do we use models? Well, a model is a simplified representation of what's really going on. The reason we use this is because real circuits in all their full detail are far too complicated to ever calculate anything about. Whereas the model is much easier to calculate and hopefully gives answers close enough to reality that we can use it for practical purposes. So we're going to talk about the different components of models, and the first component is a model wire. So here's a, a real wire. Uh, now wires are generally bits of some sort of conductor, typically copper. They're drawn just as a line in a diagram, and in most models we pretend that wires are perfect conductors. That means they can carry any amount of current you like, and there's never a voltage drop across them. So you apply voltage across them, the current will flow, and you can get as much current as you like. Now, ideal model conductors like this don't exist in reality. The copper does have some resistance, so there will be a voltage drop across it, but normally most circuits it's pretty small and so you can ignore it. The benefit of ignoring it is that you can take your circuit and rearrange it. it doesn't matter how long the wires are, which way they're pointing. So for example, you could take a real circuit like this and draw it like this, or in any other way. So you can rearrange things to your heart's content and just ignore the voltage drop. Of course, for a real wire, if you put enough current through it, it'll melt and short circuit and burn all sorts of bad things. So if you're dealing with a situation like uh, high voltage transmission lines, then you have to worry about the fact that wires actually have a resistance. But for many purposes, you could ignore it.